We'll get back to our tornado coverage in just a moment, but first, we're just hours away from millions of dollars in budget cuts if the sequester takes effect as scheduled. Consumer reporter John Matteris is here with four ways this could impact the price state. John? Well, Julie, we are going to feel this. You know, the sequester will be felt by a number of tri state programs that help the less fortunate immediately, such as the Free Store Food Bank, which tells us it's going to receive less surplus food. We're going to see a little bit of our funding cut back due to the administration of our USDA food. That's what you see behind me here. What we have is we support the eight counties in southern Ohio with USDA food product macaroni and cheese, it's the uh, potatoes, it's apples, it's any food product. Of course, the biggest impact will be on government workers who face unpaid furloughs. But CNN has listed uh, several areas where average people may feel the impact of the sequester cuts as well. Unemployment benefits will shrink. Beef and chicken prices are set to rise as plants wait longer for their FDA inspections. Meantime, the Meals on Wheels program will face cutbacks as well, and 70,000 low-income preschoolers will not be able to register for Head Start programs. A number of national park campgrounds will also close for this summer. They won't have funding. Now, the IRS tells me it does not expect delays in tax refunds at this point, and that's what a lot of us are wondering, though that, of course, could change. The good news here, the cutbacks don't happen all at once. So next week could be business as usual for most of us. As always, don't waste your money. We'll be right back with a lot more of our tornado coverage.